Hey, so I wanted to make a video showing you how you can take care of your hands right now where you are. Whether you're unable to get to the store right now to pick up products that you usually use, or you just don't have the time right now to dedicate to maintaining the appearance of your hands. I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks for maintaining your hand care where you are with what you have right now safely. The most important step to taking care of not only your hands, but everyone is to thoroughly wash your hands with soap and warm water and then pat them dry with a clean towel. Germs love to live under long nails, so make sure you're taking care to clean under your nails as well as you can. If you don't have a nail brush, you can use an old toothbrush, and I just get some soap on that and I scrub underneath the nails until I feel like they're thoroughly cleaned. Next, I'll remove any old polish that I might have on. With all the hand washing, I'm trying to leave my nail polish on longer than I normally would for two reasons. So that they're stronger and they don't dry out and won't be prone to chipping or breaking and because using nail polish remover on dry cracking skin hurts and doesn't help. After I remove my polish, I'll focus on my cuticles. You might not have a lot of time right now to dedicate to soaking your cuticles in a cuticle remover and then doing that whole process. So what I'll do is I'll just use a metal cuticle pusher, or if you don't have that, you can use a wooden stick, like an orange stick, or if you don't have that, you can use the thumbnail on your opposite hand. Just make sure it's clean. So just use whatever cuticle utensil you have and push back your cuticles and gently scrape off that sticky tissue from the nail. Next, we'll cut off any dry skin or hangnails that may be forming from all of the hand washing. My thumbs are particularly bad right now. I find if I cut the little pieces of skin that start to peel up right away, they can usually heal and they're less likely to get caught and damaged more and it's less painful. And like always, you should be very, very careful with cuticle trimmers if you are using those. You can also use baby nail trimmers. They're not as precise, but they are tiny. But be careful when you're cutting off that skin I avoid all living skin. I'm just cutting off any dead dry stuff. Right now, I'm trying to keep my nails shorter just because it's more hygienic and it's also way easier to maintain. I still like to file my nails square, but I've also been rounding the corners off a little more than normal so that they're less likely to snag and break. I recommend using metal or disposable tools because they're more hygienic. Even if it's your own personal nail supplies, it's always good to practice good hygiene. Metal can be easily cleaned with alcohol and disposable things can be tossed when you're done. However, if all you have is a disposable file, you can also wipe them down with some alcohol and allow them to fully dry to sanitize them as best as possible. Another great option that you might have is a crystal or glass nail file. Those can be easily washed in soapy warm water and they are a much finer grit so that if you have brittle nails, it's a little bit easier on them when you're filing. So after I'm done filing my nails, I'll actually take that nail file and I'll very gently go over the skin surrounding my nail just to smooth down any bits of skin that might be starting to flake up. This just makes everything flush. If there is anything that might snag, it'll just smooth that right out. But make sure you don't do it too much because you can hurt yourself. After that, I'll use a soft buffing block and just go over each nail. My nails love to peel, so I'll use the buffer to smooth down any flaking parts to prevent them from getting worse. Now just go ahead and clean your nails off. You can use a paper towel with alcohol or you can go wash them again, whatever you prefer, just to get that filing residue off. So next, I'll apply polish. I recommend keeping something on your nails to help keep them harder so that they're less likely to break. If you have a base coat, you can use that. If you only have a top coat, you can also use that. Use whatever you have. They're essentially the same thing. If you want to put on a colored polish, but you don't have a base coat, you can totally use a top coat. It might not work as good as a base coat that's designed for wearing under polish, but it will provide a barrier from the colored polish and your natural nail, keeping them free from stains. My favorite way to make my nails look healthier than they really are is to use a milky pink or a milky white sheer polish. If you don't have this, you can just mix a few drops of white polish into a top coat and you're gonna get the same effect. 
Then I'll top with another layer of top coat to help them dry faster and add one more layer of protection. Now let's talk about moisturizing. With all the hand washing we're doing, it's really important to try to apply moisturizer a little more regularly than normal. My tried and true moisturizer is coconut oil. I depotted mine into an old skincare container so it's easier to move around and use. If you don't have coconut oil, you can use olive or vegetable oil, but be a little bit more mindful if you're using a liquid oil because a little bit of those kind go a long way. You can also use a facial oil if you have that, or or even make a cocktail with some body or hand lotion and a facial oil or even facial serum. Take care to really massage the products into your hands. I like to take a few minutes and just rub the skin around my nails, in between my fingers and down to my wrist, just to really massage that product into my skin as much as possible. And like I mentioned, one way to help keep moisturizing on mind is to put little containers of hand lotion or depotted coconut oil around the house so that when you see it, it's on your mind and you're more likely to do it. I find the most convenient time to moisturize is right before bed because you can just put it on, go to sleep, and you don't have to worry about getting oil all over the place or on your phone screen or whatever. It just soaks right in while you're sleeping. And I know times are tough right now and you need to spend your money on stuff that's way more important than hand care. But if you do have the option, it's also good to remember some of those smaller brands that you really love. We need to support them right now. And another brand I really like is Butter London and they have a really good cuticle serum. I also am loving this cuticle oil by Loud Lacquer. They're a small business and this cuticle oil feels amazing. And the hand lotions I've been using are by 100% Pure. They make really good, healthy for you, healthy ingredient skincare products. And I love their hand lotions because they're super rich. And of course, I've been wearing my Maxis Strengthening Base Coat Nail Polish. It's what I have on my nails when I'm not wearing anything, just to keep something on my nails because it keeps them healthy and strong and helps them grow. So those are just some of the little small business products that I wanna support and I really like right now. Like I said, you don't need any of these special things. Just use what you have where you are now. So those are the extra steps I'm taking right now to take care of my hands as best as I can without wasting a ton of time. And I know that the appearance of nails is ultimately trivial. So just try to take care of your skin, take care of yourself, wash your hands, be safe. <music>